Hello. Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, just want to check on something. Okay. Eh, kejap, kejap. Okay. So, this is what you see. Uh, can you see the handouts? No, I checked. Nope. Nope, not me. Okay lah. Just... Okay. I can see. Wait, what? The camera okay. yeah. One person or everybody? There seems to be a makeshift shelter and uh, at the caravan ground seems to be makeshift tents. Mm -hmm. And people are shivering but trying to keep warm and seems to be more and more uh, mule and travel travelers coming over. Uh, this right. is the scene because la last time when you were there, I think yesterday, uh, it was a bit chaotic. Yep. Now you have more time to really look at the things that is uh, outside of the caravan grounds. Alright. It looks like a refugee camp. Mm -hmm. That is more and more um, people going inside there. Alright. I would like to go further away towards the main group. Towards the main road, just uh, just at the edge where Daggerford Road meets the tradeway. All right, near here lah, right? The tradeway, right? You yeah. went there, you mingle with the refugees. Has to be. Some of them looks very destitute. Some seems to be in in poor health, uh, coughing, and shivering. And. But they seem to hear something that is coming down the road. Alright. I would like to check that out. Blending in with the other refugees. <clears throat> okay. And the sounds of marching. And it seems like uh, lots of people marching in unison. It, there, it seems to be more and more and then pretty soon you notice figures even though it's snowing heavily you, you notice silhouettes of a large group of people from the and north or south from the tradeway to go heading towards dagger fort all right and pretty soon do you what do you do you just wait yeah, I'll just who... watch. Yeah, I just wait and watch where are they heading. All right, blending around yeah. with refugees. Okay. Now even the refugees are a bit nervous <clears throat> because they seem to the the ground it seems to be shaking slightly. <coughs> I was so slightly. It's from <coughs> as if a stomping of foot. And pretty soon you notice them. <laughs> Well dressed, uh, well armored groups of people that is ah uh, okay. Oh no, Wait. it's the Boros Legion. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. They are very <coughs> seems to be very well disciplined. A uh, bunch of groups. They look at. Mm -hmm. Uh, they are surrounding cautiously, always at, seems to be always at the ready to be in action. All right. I'll and do let them pass first. You, you and everybody there doesn't seem to have any other choice but to let them pass because they are not mm. taking any blockages or challenges in front of them lightly. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, as they pass through, can I like have an estimation of how many men are there? Okay, those on foot, you estimate it to be in the 30 plus. Okay. Okay, and there are about 10 on horseback. 
Alright. Around 40. 10 cavalry. They just... Uh, and then... Noticing the... Refugees. The person... One of the person on horseback... Started uh, handing out what to one of his manservant, something like a pouch, and this manservant uh, handed uh, went towards the refugees. Some of the people asking, and gave coins out. As they are like uh, throwing the coins around, and then people start. No, no, no! They don't oh, throw. They oh, just okay. give. Respectfully, they give one one after another, and people are milling around this man servant. The man servant is very respectful, but they give each everyone coins, one I'll, after another. I'll join in. <laughs> mm-hmm. nice. And as you notice the milling crowd, uh, people are, okay. and then the the person just shouted thankfully about the kindness. Of the lords, <laughs> and mm-hmm. you managed to snag a gold coin. A gold coin, all right. Well, not bad. Oh, praise thee to Nicobolas. <coughs> okay, all right. And as the the group, the contingent, or uh, the contingent arrive at the gates, they stop. Mm-hmm. They made way for the persons on horseback to move to the front. And the guards at the gate are very cautious. They are milling around. But they are also wary that at their back are the acolytes. And in front of them are the troops. Mm -hmm. And one of the sergeants Mm -hmm. shouted, who goes there? Announce yourself. Alright. Um, yeah. He just, yep. And by this time, uh, both Leona and Carl has made their way towards the commotion because this the is quite loud. Yep. Yeah, back to the, towards the thing, and by the, because you <coughs> notice a throng of people from <clears throat> all over town started making their way suddenly. It's like they are watching, they are interested. It's like a a, a mob or crowd converging towards the marketplace mm-hmm. as if something is going on at the gates. <coughs> so, after that, sergeant shouted. The, one of the the men, the uh, the very person who handed the the gold co- the pouch to his man servant, shouted, just in a booming voice, saying that the order of the Esther are here. Okay. So, uh, Leona. Mm-hmm. One thing, can you roll me your history? History check. Give me a second. Okay, not that great, but still. Did he go in? There we go. Ooh, not bad. Okay lah. That's the case. Ah, from your <clears throat> yeah, from your connection, from where you are, uh, and your previous connection, you seem to know about this order of the Esther. Oh, Talos as well. And they are they are see, they see they are really devout people that instill order. And they don't take kindly any disorderly conduct. I see. So basically, like they're the good guys. So why would people think they're bad? So, <laughs> God damn it. And this 
the person the the person that lead, seems to lead the contingent just say we would like to talk to Lord Lanever. We will not enter without his permission and yet we will seek to to talk to him first to gain the uh, the right order and the right acknowledgement for us to enter. Oh, okay, pretty cool. Fuck. We will be camping outside until we have his audience. Oh god damn it. Okay. With that they turn and then they seem to set up camp outside the gates. So, uh, do I see um, shadow? Uh, no, because I think it's quite far and there are throngs of people in front of you. You can only know, you can hear the exchange because it's very loud. But people are very hushed. Even the, the acolyte seems to be talking about himself oh what? what why wouldn't he come in mm, okay so oh god they, yes. they are, they're supposed to come in to the temple why are they not coming in dang, dang, dang. okay this is hard for me i got no idea what to do then if it doesn't know me do I know the person in charge like the British guy the big guy that's in charge of the contingency the British guy no the big guy the con uh, leader of the contingency no mm. the big you number one you, it's quite far away you just hear a, a loud voice number two seems to be uh fully helmeted i could recognize felix that way <laughs> all, right. all right oh god no um oh, man do i see carl with me um uh, grow perception please Seven. It's too crowded. Nope. Uh, it's too crowded. Yep, it's too crowded. <laughs> people are me around. Now people are excited. Oh, so, uh, okay. shoo, shoo, shoo. Wow. Oh, he doesn't come in. Wow. Why didn't he come in? I heard he... And then somebody... I heard he gave call to those outside. We should, we should go outside too. And uh, then people are milling around. Suddenly people are starting to mill around. Heading towards the gate. And, uh, and then while they're while those guys are whispering and whatnot, I I add in. I heard if you ask enough times, he'll give you more gold. Okay, roll deception, please. Uh, let's go. Let's go. One Shit. Oh, net one. <laughs> but it's enough. <laughs> but look at the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perfectly nah. balanced. <laughs> no. You're a one greedy biatch. <laughs> yeah. And with that, I'll hit to... Uh, and, 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 and people seem to be looking at you and they're like, who the heck is this? <laughs> I, I'll pull up my hood and I'll try to hit to a place of uh, where I can buy weapons. Okay. You... You start trying to avoid the crowd that seems to be looking at you now funnily and saying like, who the heck is that? People are so greedy nowadays, youngsters. Dah lah, work. Greedy lah tu. Entitlement. Entitled mentality. Must be millennials. <laughs> oh, no. <coughs> but then somebody say, which, what is millennial? <laughs> I don't know. It, it was woke. Avocado toast. People who eat avocado toast. What's that? The reason that you cannot afford a house. House? Mm -hmm. What's that? 
You, you know what? For, for me personally, after I carry, I feel just I'm going to go to the no to the drill field to meet Commander Dadiva, the barracks. No. Oh wow! Okay. All right, you try to make your way around the throng. It's quite hard because people are packing the front of the Dagger Fort Inn and in front of the gates because people, they just want to see the spectacle that is unfolding in front of them. And some are really trying to make their way outside of the gate for mm. purported promises of riches or being cool, <laughs> being bandied out. Especially the one that seems to be beggary, well, asking for coins. Yeah, I, I, I think one of them believes me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you try to make your way, but it's quite hard to go over this crowd. To unless you want to take another road. Wait, wait, oh yeah, I'll take another road. This this is uh, the crowds are here, right? Wait, let me... Yeah, most of them are here. Yeah, I'm gonna take the high road. All right. Seeing the seems like a futility of probably hmm? the the crowd probably won't die down. No, as soon as... It, it seems to be attracting, especially when the the order of the, the knights are making their camp. It seems to be very well. I'll take a little. Okay, I will go go around the corner towards the harbor to the port, and okay. then answer from there. <clears throat> oh, so you, so you go here, right? Yep. Shalom. From the M and Mega. <laughs> That's gonna Ooh. at least take you an hour plus. Ooh. Yep. <clears throat> it does. <coughs> But one thing you okay. Your common sense shows that if you go over there, you might be the only one that goes towards that, and that you might be noticeable. Yep. No, no one else is going there. Snow is packing the ground. Ah, uh, uh, basically, I will follow the road. The okay. main road towards the bridge road? and that. Yeah. Is there a road? I don't see any road. Back towards the the trade way, heading towards the bridge, and then there's uh I I think there's a slight slope towards the left, to the right, towards the port. At the mini mart, right mini mart. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mini okay. Like port area. Oh okay. Yeah. So we're heading oh. out and then towards the bridge and then there's a fork. Let's go towards the port. Okay, okay, on the map, you are oh, no. going to... Sorry. Towards there? Or something? Yep, and then towards, almost towards the bridge. And okay. then taking the fork towards the left. Okay. And then towards the port. Okay. So, you try to stealthily make your way out. Oh, that will take more than one and a half hour. Yep. Oh, then, so two plus then. <clears throat> Right. Okay. Right. okay. As you try to carefully make your way, uh, try to be inconspicuous, you notice the the knights are really packing in, even though they are um, dismounting, they are setting the all the their man servants are setting up tents to be the command center. Alright, and while they are doing that, you try to make your way uh, back to town. The crowds are really packing the thing, yep. uh, the the drop the bridge, even the the guards there are having a tough time handling them. And sometimes even the acolytes are <coughs> trying to make their way out, being stuck in the crowd. That's the last thing you notice as you move out there. <coughs> okay, let's go back to uh, Leona. All right. So, for uh, uh-huh. for Carl, you are going to the high road. Yep. Oh no. Okay, and it will take some time because it will take about more than half an hour <coughs> to. Yep. It's around half an hour, if I'm mistaken. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Yep. About that. But you have to contend with. Lots of people suddenly going towards that, but it's not as packed, jam packed, as the 
the throng and also the crowd in front of the gates. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Alright. So you will be about half an hour plus. So that's Leona. What right. do you do there? So um, as I head to the well, quote unquote, smithies or armory, I'll head inside. Uh, where are you going? To the, the smithies. Like, is it this one or this one? Yeah, about that. Uh, the weapons watch. You still have to face the same problem as Carl. <clears throat> Because the, the crowd is really packed up. Mm, okay. Ah. Mm. And so let's <coughs> see. Uh, you notice people say, We have never seen this kind of spectacle in ages. I'll head through here then. Okay. Head through the inside. Okay. So you have to pass through the throngs uh, of people that's packing and milling around. Yeah, I, I'll do it like Assassin's Creed style. <coughs> <coughs> Okay. You all the grinding past people you try to make your way as best as you can. Mm-hmm. But it took you about more ten minutes extra as opposed to before. So instead of fifteen minutes it became twenty five minutes. Mm-hmm. And then finally you managed to free yourself from the crowds, uh from the back. I'll uh, and then finally you arrive at Oleg Suapen Shop. And I hit it. Alright. You hit it. And you almost bump into somebody that it seems to be rushing out of Oleg Suapen Forge. Oh, uh, oh uh, sorry, there, my lady. Oh, sorry, sorry. Have to... um, do I see uh, how he is? Um, what, who? Somebody, this, the, the... this guy that's bumping into me. How how does he look like? What is he doing? He seems to be one of the workers of the Weapon Forge. Ah, that see. seems to be rushing ah. out. Okay. And in you go. Alright. And you notice the, the Oleg. Right. That is, is that uh, tending the place on his own. Seems to be muttering something under his breath. Alright, I'll get, okay, I'll be know. inside and I'll uh, say hello, greet him. Hello. Bloody bloody worker. Ooh, um, <laughs> did I caught you in a bad time? Yep. You noticed somebody that, that just rushed out of the shop? Yeah, yeah. What, what's up? Hmm. He just wants... He says he wants to see all what the commotion is all about. Seems to be like there's knights camping in front of the gates. Yeah, that, that's that's why I heard too. Something to do with the acolytes or something like that. Hmm. Uh, it, it's lots of trouble, I tell you. Trouble, trouble. Yeah, it seems that way. Um, talking about trouble, <laughs> don't mind if I trouble you, but. Do you sell any caltrops? Hmm. Business. Yes. Uh, business, of course. Sure. What do you need? Uh, caltrops. I, I... Do you sell those? Yes, of course. Uh, I would like to have two bags of it, please. Two bags, you say? Yes. Well. Sure, sure, sure. What do you? How much more do you need? Anything else other than caltrops? As for now, I'm. Uh, that's what I plan on getting. Um, do you have any uh, daggers or something like that? Like magical daggers or at least some kind of special daggers? We don't have that. We just make the normal ones. <laughs> but mm? bear in mind. We do make fine weapons, ah. but to imbue them with magic, it took uh, another special kind of skills necessary that which I like. Ah, it's okay then. Um, if you don't mind, uh, do you have a um, empty bag? 
A what? An uh, empty bag, like a satchel. Well, look around. Let's see. Well, we do try to have reusable bags. We don't. We encourage recycling here, yeah? but yeah, we. I think we have that. Oh, the right, last, yeah. the last person. I think that's one paladin that that seems to be throwing out bags here, <laughs> along with that chainmail. Oh, I see. Yeah. A paladin, you see. All right. What else do you need? I think that's about it. All right. Ah, uh, that will be just uh, ah, I'm so sorry. I think just two silver piece. Ah, uh, three. Make it three silver piece. All right, you try for hard bargain. Thank you so much. All right. <clears throat> yeah, keep away from trouble. The trouble seems to be in front of our gates now. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We, we can't be too um, cautious. Anyway, uh, have a good day. Thank you for the business. Thank you. Do come again. We'll do. We'll do. Just be careful. I I have a bad feeling about this. Don't we all? Don't we all? And well, um, I could say that if there's um, there's trouble, people are going to look for something to protect themselves, and I feel like your shop might be booming. Young lady, if you have lived as far as long as I've had, we should try to avoid war. I just equip as a deterrence, but. War is never war. War never changes. That is true. That is true. But a paladin friend of mine would say, um, he would kill every man, woman, and child for peace. Seems to be familiar. I know. Some familiar, something familiar about the way yeah. you describe this friend of yours. Yeah, he's he's an idiot, by the way. But still, a lovable idiot. Well, do take care of yourself. And you too. Goodbye. Bye. And with that, I'll... You know what? I want to see if I notice Carl. Right. <clears throat> so, uh, can you roll a perception? Let's see. As you... Nope, edit. too busy. <laughs> God, that's a one. Net one. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do not notice that. You just see lots of people around you. You don't even notice if the people around you are guards or <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Right. Carl, by this time around, I think you have uh, made your way to the drill field. Hmm, okay. Right. Where do you go? Head inside to see Commander Ladeva. And this time around, you went to see there. There's okay. This is what you see at the drill field. There are lots of soldiers and guards, uh, not milling around, but in lines, fully equipped, fully equipped at the ready. Uh, there is a commander among them. That seems to be yep. What is that? Is that a picture? Uh, do, you, do you show us a picture? No, no, no. Oh, okay, just try it. Okay. Well, do you see something? No. <laughs> oh, both of the pictures. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, you, you went there and you see uh, guards and guards at the ready. Uh, weapons, some, uh, one of the sergeant and also maybe a lieutenant inspecting their weapons. Even the armor that they wear to be at the ready. And you see Commander Lanever among them, just sitting uh, on his horse, looking at the commotion, uh, not the commotion, the preparation in unfolding in front of him at the drill field. Mm, okay, I, I go to go to Commander Lanever and greet him. As you approach him, he turns and... You notice his one of his arm is at his sword, almost like almost ready to take anyone's head off in case he doesn't like it or surprise him 
with ill intent. Do I see this? You notice a lot of people, a lot of the spectacle in front of you as, as people are shouting orders. Uh, there's a captain here that uh, seems to berate one of one or two of the guards that seems to be lacking in discipline. Mm, okay, but do I do I see uh, Leneva almost striking Carl? Uh no. No, okay. No. Right. Well, for one thing, Carl comes from this, and let's see, eh? Um, free hand. Okay, this seems to be the the lines of the the guards, the guardsmen, mm. and this is where the commander is located. About that, you just come out from here, mm. and this is where Carl is located. And in front of me, like there's more people, and it's more busy than uh, what you're drawing, lah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. You just noticed that. So, Carl. Let Le- never notice you. Well, okay. Good greetings, Leneva. Is that uh, is that a uh, SWAT? I see, or yeah, I'm just happy to see you. Do you want to test me at this time? <laughs> uh, no. One of the wrong persons to go talk to. Oh him. no! But it's time like this that we need a bit of humor. Can we have a have a short talk in I private? Have no, I have no time to talk. It, it is to... it is important. It's just for a moment. Can't you see I'm busy doing this? I think that it is important. It's uh no, it's about the acolytes. All right, and all right. Yuna, can you roll a perception? Okay, give me a second. Seven. Oh wow. Okay. Yay! My stuff is getting bad now. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that? Um, Ladiver seems to be looking intently. Okay. Uh, at Carl, doing that, trying to see whether he's serious or serious, seriously joking or joking seriously. <laughs> he just he motion to he bark an order to his captain. See to the preparations. I have this joker to talk to. And he went into his barrack. He just moved his his horse uh, towards the, the front of the barrack, the opening, and in he went. Do you follow him? Carl? Yeah, follow him of course. All right. Let's go. Yep. Usually where the death sergeant is located, now it's empty. Even the death sergeant are being called to outside to be preparation. Now uh, it's a bit empty there. Alright, what do you want to say? Wait, what's happening, Ladeva? Hmm. Preparation. For? Trouble. Hmm. Are, I you not... da- are you daft? Yes, yes. I noticed that the uh, no the guards uh, the the guards from the temple the tender are coming, the soldiers from the temple the tender are coming. <laughs> These are no soldiers. This is the knights of the Esther. Mm. Any idea why they need your permission to come? Of course, they are very prim and proper. They don't come unless it is a time of war. They may be summoned by the high priest, but they do follow decorum and protocol. Thank Tyr for that. Hmm. Well, this is uh, this is gonna be some even more bad news. But I managed to <clears throat> charm one of the acolytes. Uh, oh. Yes. Seriously, we were telling a group of acolytes. We, we noticed that a lot of acolytes are gathering together, suspiciously. And I managed to caught one off guard and charm him. 
Oh. And from what? <coughs> yes. And from what I hear, they are planning something. They are gonna receive some very big orders, and it doesn't look good. It seems they there were talks about order and sacrificing the lives of innocents in order to maintain this order. The person who is charm will send me a copy of their order soon after they have received it. You, but you are saying you managed to have a mole instilled among them? Not exactly a mole. Let's say that a charm person. Information is information. It can either good, be good or bad, but it is something that we all need. But just make sure to you know keep an eye out things because from what from what I hear it involves the killing of innocents in this town. It's always the civilian that that casualty that mounts. This is so vexing. Yes, indeed. Remember, Commander, we are your allies. The night watch, the night hunters are always your allies. We are your friends in this dire need. Do come to us if you need help. Is that all? He seems to be a bit impatient and short of temper today. Do you have Not... anything else? I have to tend to urgent, more urgent matters. Very Don't well. keep me informed. Very well. And one more thing. I would like to ask you. Do you need help with anything? Commander? My mind is on this. Yes. This, perhaps... is, this seems to be... But then again, if you have any leads on what the temple is planning, they are the one who summon this knights in front. Luckily... We, the, the order of the Esther and I went back some ways. There are mutual respect among us. Mm. But I see. But we never know how long this respect can last. Very well. I will come and see you again with uh, the information from our friend, our charm friend. Once we have a have a clearer understanding of what's going on, good. Do that. <clears throat> there seems to be a lot of problems here. Very well, in the end, I won't keep you. I will keep you on your task. Yeah. Okay. Then I excuse myself. Good. Be off with you. And right. thank you. This is what we do, Commander Dutton. Eh? Then take a bow and then leave. Okay, and you left there. Okay, uh, Shadow is still outside, in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> yep, making my way towards the. Make, the make it, making making way downtown. <laughs> yep, walking fast. <laughs> the river. <laughs> Burr is cold. <laughs> <coughs> All right. So, um, where are you going after this uh, call? There is nothing I can do. Right? I I will head back to the barracks. I guess there's nothing I can do in that right now. I wait, wait for the letter to come. Well, in the meantime, Shadow is doing this. Make your way downtown, walking <laughs> fast, face pass. <laughs> uh, <oh>, <laughs> <coughs> well, just do do it like like what uh, he did in, in White Cheeks. Oh god. <laughs> that was that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, that was that was that was precious. <laughs> oh, no, you know, you know what's funny or not? A movie what? like White is gonna be very racist. <laughs> I don't like, know. I mean, it's like not, it's not. It's not gonna be acceptable in this current, current I, era. <laughs> I don't know. It's the other way around. Anyway, it's, um, it's, it's back, <laughs> back and doing whiteface. Yeah, but anyway, uh, GM, what now? Yep. Okay. 
Uh, you have arrived at the dorms. Uh, right, by now, so the dorms are, are fully empty. All the guards are being called to the drill field. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, uh, I'm going to the kitchen, and mm-hmm. I'm going to look for a glass bottle. A glass bottle. Mm-hmm. This is a crude dorm. Usually, it's made of clay, uh, pottery. There's a killet uh, that is black with charcoal. Glass is something that that is not really found in dorms because usually it breaks a lot. Ah, okay. But is there and, any and like um, it's very expensive, right? Glass bring this nice. Uh, very yes. expensive. Yes. Yeah. Mm, okay. So. Hey, let's see. Let me think about that. Shook now. Hmm. Hmm. So no, no glass at all. No, unfortunately, no. No glass at all. All right. Usually, it is uh made of clay. Uh, made of um something that is baked. All right. Um, clay or something. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll grab one of the. Uh, clay glass, uh, clay drink holders. What do you call it? <laughs> it's not glass. A mug. A yeah, mug. A mug. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll take a mug. I put it in one of the empty um, bags that I have. Okay. And I stamp on it. Wow. You can hear the the clay breaking. I do it even more. And more, and more, like just uh, making sure it, it breaks into pieces. Yep, it is in pieces. All right, cool. I'll tie it on my belt. Okay. All right. So okay, let's see. Uh, since no one's here, I'll head out. I'll head out, and you know what? I'm going to be a shit, uh, shit starter. I'm going to go to the temple. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So you went out. Mm-hmm. Um, by this time, uh, Carl is only making his way towards the dorm, which is quite about several minutes, about ten minutes to fifteen minutes away. All right, and you are making your way towards the temple, which is about ten minutes walk from where you are at the dorm. Okay, what? Uh, Hill Road. You went f- uh, through Hill Road, right? Who? Me? Or yeah. uh, you, you. I thought we were talking about Carl, no? Carl, no. Carl, Carl will be making his way towards the dorm. Mm, okay, so yeah, I'll take the road through Hill Road. Okay. And I'll casually hit, it, hit to the Temple of Latanda. Alright. Along Hill Road, along the... the there's a shop with a signboard like jewelry. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the in front of there, you can see a uh, lots of activities. Oh, in front of the temple of Latanda. Mm-hmm. More rope, more red ropes are there. Seems to be mingling around, and then at the temple door, mm-hmm. uh, there are white ropes. People are uh, seems to be arguing with the red ropes. Oh. Hmm. Let, let me see. Um. I'm just going to um try and see why. Um. Uh, perception maybe or insight. So do you casually walk among them because uh, at this road is there is a throng of red ropes. Angrily, uh, trying to maybe get into the church or arguing with the people at the door to the church. Um, so I'm, I'm so right now I just passed the jewelry shop and I I'm, I'm close to the entrance and I do see all of this happening. Yes. All right. So I'm just going to people are arguing loudly. Okay. So I'm just going to not be close to the action, but I'm just going to. Be close enough that I can hear it. So, um, what do I notice? Like, what they are arguing about? Okay, can you roll a perception? Because sometimes it is too loud. It may, it may not be discernible to you. Mm. Ooh, okay. 
you, it's quite reasonable because they are really <coughs> arguing. Mm-hmm. One of the the person that is confronting the <coughs> white rope, it seems mm-hmm. to be holding the the door to temple, mm-hmm. and this person is holding a weapon mm-hmm. at the ready. So at the, the red rope, saying that we want to, we have to see the high priest now. Okay, the high priest mm-hmm. is is busy. And the person in white uh, stoically prevented him from entering. So the situation right now is the white ropes are in front of the door while the reds are behind. Uh, also, no. They are confronting the white ropes. Yeah, so uh, um, it's... The, the white ropes are the white rope, maybe a cleric, <coughs> a war cleric, maybe a war mm. priest. It seems to be barring the door from being intruded by the red ropes mm, i think okay. it's quite a sizable about more than 10 red ropes there 10 to how many white red ro- uh, white ropes uh there are three white ropes three. there seems to be armored and weapon at the ready and the white the red ropes are about more than 10 10 to 12 Okay, so I by your guesstimate. Okay, I'll I'll tap on one of the red uh, cloaks and try to get his attention. All right, one of them at the back. <coughs> okay, you tap it. And he he, the person just seems to be okay. Huh? What? Greetings to you. Um, uh, I was just wondering. Um, could I head into the temple? I really want to pray the days uh, they're they're coming and i'm afraid get in line we are trying to get into the temple oh. and we are the acolytes cannot get in oh. those bunch of jokers what happened like uh, what wh- wh- why has gone wrong i don't know they were, we were trying to see the high priest and they are closing the temple to even to us that's, and we are the acolytes that's not right like people the people should be able to enter <laughs> get in line like I said could I hmm. <laughs> uh, how, how does one do shit starter <laughs> no idea what do you Let's have in mind? <laughs> okay all right <clears throat> I'll, I'll I'll just say this to him I've heard rumors that the uh, the those uh, uh these uh people in white they are trying to take over your positions and um put you uh just put your aside and just uh, make you well obsolete roll deception please all right let's go shit starter let's go one sixteen <laughs> not bad <laughs> That's not bad, yeah. <coughs> That's a six, right? Mm-hmm. Holy shit, I got a very high deception. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh. Seems to be there. What? Yes, I heard it in the Grand Playhouse and also in the uh, Daggerford Inn. I think you got it. Uh, you got it twisted. We are the one who is trying to take over their role. But if that's the case, that, why are they in front and stopping you from entering and seeing the Baron? By now he's a bit confused. Wait, who is taking over who? And why is that? They're trying to... <laughs> we want to be like them. Then now, now he's a bit confused. We managed to confuse him. Yes, and I'll just say that I think they're trying to take over your jobs. Right, like that, that can, that can be good, and I doubt you stand for that. Three. Hey, wait, wait. What are our jobs? We are the one who's trying to take over their jobs, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. So, like, if they are standing there and not letting you see the Baron, that means you won't be able to report in, and they'll probably just say that you guys are just a bunch of lazy 
palette of sorry, lazy acolytes not doing their jobs. Well, number one, there's no baron inside. Oh, and like see, they're even, you're, they're not even giving you all the information. They're holding yeah. out on you. Oh. Oh, pray to Teal. Wrong church. Sorry, what, what, wrong what, church. What was the oh, wrong oh, church? What was the thing wrong again? Uh, the tender, yes. Um, oh, pray to the tender that you. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> and I think the commotion uh in front of the church is still uh very much intense. And it's like the leader of the red ropes are uh, trying to argue his way in, and the 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 cleric and the war priest or whatever the war priest is still very ad very adamant mm. from letting them in. And you are just talking to one, and the rest are just milling around, trying to push. Mm, okay. Hmm, okay, so um, I'll just say that uh, if I can't get in, uh, it's alright. I wish thee well, and I hope to see you in the future. And I hey. move here. You want, do you want to join us? Oh? To push our way inside? If it can be done. Sure, like I, I am willing to help for the cause. And then they, they started uh, having this uh, unison. We want in. We, we want, want in. in. We want in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how's that going to go? Yeah, yeah, shit started. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly, uh, after some time, <laughs> you, you, some, something, okay, uh, at the back of your neck, mm -hmm. you can sense something is not right. It's like a crackle in the air. Ooh. As if something in, is being wielded. I am going or, to... It's uh, very good. Whoosh, Rota! Okay, what do you do? Um, you you, you sense some, something is, is, mm. is, is being done. Alright, I, I felt this. And I'm assuming that I'm here. About that, yeah. I'm going to go here. <laughs> you just ran. Yep. High tail over there. And as you ran, mm -hmm. you just ran. And as soon as you reach towards a building, you can sense something crackle and there's a loud bang and a flash. Oh, thunder wave. And it is like you can see people prone on the ground. Uh, Most of the red ropes are, are just disoriented and just lying on the ground. Okay, uh, I, I see this from my end and I too will be prone. <laughs> okay, you just threw yourself onto the ground. Oh! Okay. Yes, I, I'll take a look see what's going on. You notice the... the frontmost white rope war priest or war cleric have uh, his mace on his shield. Mm. Oh, he just used crackling wave or thunder wave. <laughs> or oh, thunder crack. Yeah, thunder crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys. And you can see uh, all the prone red ropes are just getting up or in a daze or confused or just one of them seems to be having blood gushing out of the ears oh god no thunder damage <laughs> that's not good oh uh, boy oh okay. man 
So how, how am I? Am I okay? You are okay. You seem to be out of the uh, the Damage radius. radius. Alright. About that. Okay. The rest are just dazed, confused, and sprawling on the ground, left and right. Alright. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um, do I notice anything like uh, they're picking up the red cloaks and throwing them away or what else? No, it, they are just standing there and letting them try to recover on their own. Ah. They are not moving from where they are. They are situated. Hmm. See. Okay. Three. The two other war priests seems to be just at the ready. I see. So shit might happen. All right. This is good. This is good. Let's see. Uh, are they going to go fight, fight, fight? Uh, from what you see, what you can notice is that the red ropes are not in the best condition to continue a fight or continue arguing. Mm. I see. All right. No problem then. Hmm. So the the one bleeding from his ears, ah, uh, seems to be the one that he's arguing the most oh, earlier. I see. Okay. So while all this commotion is happening, I'm going to try and go through here, like get there, like from this point, go right here. Okay. You try to make your way there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Past the red ropes that are heavily beaten. Yep. Uh, in the days, one of them tried to just grab you. Like, Help! Oh, my ears are ringing. <laughs> oh, um, I I'll help him up and then like I'll tap his face. You okay? Uh, you doing okay? How many fingers do I have? Three. Three. That's great. You're gonna be oh okay, and I turn him around and push him towards the white group guys. Why? Why do you look red? Then, then he just seems to, his eyes seems to <coughs> go in, go white, and then he just passed out. Oop. Okay, yep. Just gonna leave him there. Oh wait, no, no. Uh, I'll help him up, and I push, I pull him aside. Okay. What do he? Man. What does he have? He seems to be passed out. No, no. What I mean is, what does he have in his pockets? <laughs> oh. He seems to have two silver pieces mm -hmm. and three and three gold mm -hmm. and two coppers. I'll take them all. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what right, was it you again? just put three silver piece, that uh, two silver piece, three gold and three coppers. And three. All right, cool. All uh, right. As I do, uh, uh, as I pull him aside, uh, lay him on, uh, sit him down on the wall and whatnot. I'll, I'll take my services. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. You ho hope hope you be well. Hope you be well, and then I'll head on my merry ways. Okay. You try to make your way at the back to the back of the building. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else do you do? Um, I'll take a look see because I do remember there's um a few people at the jewelry store. So I'm guessing that they might have heard the commotion and head to the front of the temple. You are right. Uh, some of them are looking curiously, but they are just uh cautiously try to see because it is something loud and and alarming to them. Mm -hmm. They don't want to put themselves into dangerous way. Mm, see, okay, okay. And especially when they see uh, people sprawl around, uh, the more they are more alert, <clears throat> but they are just as curious to know what's going All on. Right. So, um, I managed to be here, right? Yes. And all of the red robes are in front already? Like nobody's at the jewelry store anymore? No. Alright, so I'll try and see if there's a way inside by climbing the walls or anything like that. Okay. In the meantime, Carl, you are at the dorm. You finally managed to find your way at the dorm. Ooh. Carl is... Oh, he's muted. Sil 
Yeah, he's muted. Uh, Don't know if he's muted because he has to go somewhere. Oh, ah, yes. oh no. Kan, yeah. uh, kan, so, kan, dia, kan, dia, kan dia cakap tadi Wai <laughs> macam punya panjang Punya muted <laughs> uh, Forgot I muted myself so, yes. so, okay. to so so Carl You are at the door Okay And So Can you roll perception please Ooh, Give me a second My perception sucks mm. I should play a ring here <laughs> Ranger. Yeah, always roll with them. Uh, now the, the right question is why don't I just bump up my stats in perception? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You as you head into the dorm. Uh. Well, as you are in the dorm, you seem to hear a noise, but then again, you you think nothing of it. Hmm. Hmm. You are waiting at, at the dorm. Anything else interesting that you are do, doing there? Not really. I, I'll I'll see, look around. No, if there's no guards, right? Nope. It's totally empty. It's devoid of activity. Mm-hmm. Except I'll, for I'll the noise. Around. Yeah, I think around the door if there's any the letter that the the guy is supposed to put put you, under my neck. You notice something like uh some broken <coughs> mark pieces that somehow is one or two pieces lying on the floor. Weird. Okay. Oh yeah. well, someone someone broke broke that stuff. Yeah. Mm, all right. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, sit sit back first. Wait wait for a while. Uh. Take a short rest, huh? All right. So by this time, um, I think Shadow. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. You have reached the uh, this village. The, the edges of the yeah the mm-hmm. the village. The port is, is there. You are you are at the village. So you notice people are still um busy with their work. Yep. Okay and. They seem to not minding you at all. all they right, seem I'll... to be really busy with their their life. Do you see oh. any crying old ladies? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what time is it? Okay, by this time around it's uh twelve? No, um two, three, probably. Yeah, yeah, about about two something, almost three. All right, so I'll make my way inside the key, the uh, dagger pot. Okay. And then you go towards the root. Uh, river root. <laughs> the which road? V- river road. River road. Okay. Yep. You you went through here. Okay. Yep. And then head straight towards the barracks. Ah, okay. Oh, barracks. To the barracks. Oh. Yep. Or, okay. You it took you some time, and then it took about a good twenty minutes more towards the barracks. Yep. Okay. What else do you do? Uh, as I'm there, can I see or hear anyone presence in the vicinity? Okay, you you okay, on the other side of the building, the barracks building. The the barracks itself is quiet, mm-hmm. but on the other side, you notice a lots of or seems like orders are being. Uh, given uh, people that you there's lots of like armored people milling around or something like that that you seem to know it's like almost like soldiers at the ready or drilling. All right. Did oh shit! Did Commander Lenver went towards the gate? You do not see him. I do not see him. Uh, is uh, his office is on the second floor? Right? Yes. Is it towards the back end of the building? Maybe. Yes. Most likely, yes. Can I see a window? Some sort. The barracks hmm. usually have windows, but. Uh, Usually at the first floor is also served as 
uh, jail mm-hmm. and most of the windows of the jails are barred have iron bars I mean, on window it window towards the lenovo's office it will be on the second floor you can notice some windows there mm-hmm. is it oh i cannot inspect is, if it's locked or not right well you are on the ground floor you can just see it sama tu je jot mate to unlock the door not unlock trying to see if it's locked or not sama tu je 30 feet we met with the first minor wonder sign of supernatural power is it 30 feet only mm. uh, the one that is open or closed window Uh, window to fly open if it's unlocked. Was an unlocked door, a window to fly open, or some shut? Yep. Okay. One of the window at the top, Salim. Open. Okay. Flew open. Boom. I will attempt to hide and wait for any if there's any responses from the open window. The window remains open. You waited for about five minutes. That doesn't seem to be anyone responding to that. To either close it, it remain open. So meaning there's no one in that I presume. So if I remember correctly, we have been multiple times inside of Lenovo's office, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. So I would. No, if uh, the which window is that that is in his so of it is office. usually this window is at the back of his yep. table, okay, and near uh, his, near um, where his sleeping quarter is. All right. Oh, okay. How many feet is the window from the first floor? Well, let's see how many feet. Uh, usually, it's uh. One floor is about eleven feet. About that, so this is about fifteen feet up from the from there to the window. All right, fifteen feet up. Mister Step towards the window. Okay. So it's uh, up to 30 feet. Yep. Boom. You find your way at the opening of the window, at the window sill. Uh, because you left it open for more than five minutes, some snow has uh, gathered at the sill. And mm. your appearance there disturbed the snow at the sill, window sill. All right. Can I see if Lenovo's is in his room or not? Mm, you do not see anyone. Uh, okay, I'll make this quick. I enter the room. Okay. And I would like to inspect all uh, the cases. I like. I would like to try to see if there's any. Uh. Any side of Lenovo that is not that we did not know. Ooh, gathering info we like. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so you see, uh, at Ooh. one of the at the bookshelf mm-hmm. is full at one of the at one corner of the room, at one wall of the room is full of case files. You All remember right. this kind of case file from. All the missing, all the the attack at the mm-hmm. the poor quarters, part of that. Yep. Okay. What are you looking for? It's. Uh, I would like to see if there's. Uh, I would have to roll in. Uh, uh, investigation, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. I Because... would like to see if there's anything that would. Put Lenovo's at fault instead of uh, the high priest, meaning that the there's 
our 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 main view is actually just to find if if Lenovo is the culprit or not. Okay, sure. Uh, roll investigation, please. Oh, uh, very nice. Not oh, good. No. Not good. <laughs> no. Because of the sheer volume of case files available, it ranges from yeah. uh, attacks at the poor quarters, uh, people missing. Uh, there are attacks outside of the the walls mm-hmm. within part of jurisdiction within the farm states of the dagger fort uh is yeah. all there you went through one by one and can you roll perception please all right 12 you barely hear a noise that seems to trigger your attention It seems to be like oh. you can almost sense like somebody is approaching. Jump over the window. <laughs> I'll head towards the window, and then misty step towards uh, uh yeah misty step towards the ground. Okay. Misty step. Misty step is is bonus action, but it's not a country, right? Is it a country? Uh... Yep, I have. Been... Tools, uh, second, second level spell spell. Okay, sure. All right. So, because of the sheer volume of case files, you do not notice anything that seems to implicate Lanniver. But mm-hmm. you, you, you seem to be open to any possibilities. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just uh, basically set towards the ground and then make my way upwards towards the river road and towards the dome. Okay, you hastily make your way towards river road. Uh, since no one seems to notice uh, you for now, um, you seem to be uh, in the clear. Before before I left, I will use thermology to shut the window. Okay. The window slam shut. Yep. Okay, and you vamos. Yep. To the down. Okay, sir. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's go back towards uh, our friend Leona. All right. So as I look, uh, so um, as I see that there's no one here, I'll try to just go around here and just see if there's any way to get inside from this point okay uh at this side of this usually it is the windows are quite high mm-hmm. not uh windows at the ground floor because this seems to indicate a tower mm-hmm. and this is the main building and most of the windows are quite high Dang it. Usually in churches, uh, th- there are no windows at the ground floor. Usually the windows are placed uh, at the upper stairs or upper floors because they want to attract sunlight going f- from upstairs, uh, shining towards mm-hmm. the the floor, so that it seems to indicate uh, an aura of uh, tranquility. Uh, it's. Uh, I'll try to see if there's any hidden passages or hidden. Yeah, hidden passages. Okay. Let's see. That would be under investigation or perception. The investigation. You do not perceive. You have to investigate. Fifteen. Ah. So far, uh, you notice the the building is quite well built. There doesn't seem to be any. Uh, cracks or anything that seems to indicate that exists a secret opening or secret doors okay none so from my view is there anyone t- uh, taking care of this from your view this seems to be the the gates towards the ducal castle and is there any body guarding the entrance not that you notice, 
but you can sense or you can hear from this there are voices that you can muffled voices that you can hear especially after the the loud bang or loud thunder the loud noise hmm okay oh boy this is going to be hard So yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Uh, want to get in, but need documentation. Hmm. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna try. Um, I'm going to go in front of here. Okay. <clears throat> As you make your way towards that entrance up there. Mm-hmm. You, you notice the all the red cloaks are have almost uh, pick their way or pick their comrades away f- towards the duke's way. Mm. <laughs> they don't seem to have any any effort oh. to enter the temple anymore. Ah, uh, boo. As you make your way towards the the front gate of the ducal castle, mm-hmm. one of okay, can you roll perception? Okay, give me a second. Where's this? Perceptions. Fifteen. Right. You notice one of the the three war priests notice you, and he seems to. Touch the shoulder of the frontmost war priest. This is behind me or in front of me. No, you were you were making your way there, mm-hmm. and they what they notice mm-hmm. a lone figure heading towards the the gate of the castle. Mm-hmm. He just um, touch the shoulder of the frontmost war priest and nodded towards. Where you are, mm-hmm. and now all three of them are looking at you. All right, I don't care. I'm just going to go in front of you, and uh, wait for these people or the people in this castle guards to acknowledge me. All right, so you will be waiting there at the front of the gate. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have Shadow making his way on River Road back to wherever maybe he is trying to go to the dorm. Mm-hmm. And we have call at the dorm mm-hmm. with a noise in the dorm. Well, he, it is a noise coming from outside. Ah, all right. Okay. And I think we will end our session tonight Shit. at that stage. <laughs> yep. Uh, oh man. <laughs> oh boys. Uh, So seriously, even soon, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, uh, he he was very dramatic. He's like, "Ooh, okay." <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you need to be careful not to stab your toe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What? Okay, okay. So, what do you think of the handouts? Oh man, one after the other. <laughs> yeah, they're they're great. They're great. Like. Um, you know what? Oh man! Like honestly speaking, it feels like we've done more in this um, session versus the past. Yeah. I mean, like, I, it feels like everybody gets to shine and do their own thing and do stuff. Call, call, lawa. Interestingly, call. You you charm the person, right? Yeah, it's not really charm. It's actually like a suggestion, so it's like my control. Ah, okay, mm. but it does require some concentration, right? Yep. Okay. And if I do remember, he didn't cast any other spells, so yay. Um, yeah. wait, 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 wait. If he gets injured, it gets cancelled out, right? No, no. Uh, yeah, to constitution out. saving throw. Yeah. If if you you're getting very heavily damaged. Uh. No, but here's the thing. Uh, was he part of the crew that got thunderstruck? Oh, uh, I did it all. Uh. 
Sorry, the, ah, the, charm, oh. the charm person doesn't matter as long as he doesn't matter. It will be applied until eight hours. Ah. Oh, call dismiss it. Ah, okay. So even oh, 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 he finishes task. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah. Oh, he finishes task. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. Hey, hey. Cool, 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 cool. Just oh, keeping oh. you on. Just keeping you on your toes. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. But so you never know, right? Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully we got news soon. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So is good session. You you notice something that is starting to unfold. Yeah, I mean, so, I I do love shadows. Uh, action of going into Renvius office and rummaging through there. Like, yeah, go 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 go. Yeah, because we've been nosing other people a lot, but, but we him. haven't questioned Lenovo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, well. oh man, like I, I do want to try and see if what the thieves guild in this section does or what they do, but I couldn't seem to find any. That's a problem, and I can't go up to some random stranger on the street and say like, "Hey, where's the thieves guild?" <laughs> No, you need you need underground connection, right? Yeah, I mean, I do, but problem is in this section with the war and whatnot, it's like they're they're not popping off, like they're not popping off. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure you can find them in the in the bar or something. You know? There must be some secret sign. Secret gang sign. <laughs> problem is, I did notice one, and he ran. <laughs> oh okay, well. Yeah. Maybe so. So that's the problem there, like, oh god. Watch it directly, you know, it's like, hey brother, do the secret sign, gang sign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what I should have done, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> no. So, Order, Order of the Esther, it is part of the... It's a re- one of the real order inside Farron. Yep, yep. <laughs> <sighs> this is not going to be fun. The Platana. Yeah, the Star Loss, I didn't know the Star Loss. Star Loss, the almighty... Was <laughs> Who was Felix's patron again? Man, you should know. I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like, <laughs> I'm thinking like what? That, that character. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> uh, that character. Poof. <laughs> now is now is Leona now. <laughs> no. Oh man, Leona's mindset is different. Like I I I I cannot be too goody two shoes. Yeah. So we. Oh. With Leona, she's she's basically in for her own thing. By the way, guys, um, how did you like her introduction? A different story, lah. Okay, not bad, lah. Because we didn't expect, like, okay, Felix was really on his own that day, and then he was, oh, I, I thought that. The girl is something like connected to so we punya like another character, similar to how um Camille joined in. Yeah, yeah, true. But mine is a bit different because yay um if <laughs> uh if I knew that he was going to be a werewolf, I wouldn't have swap. I <laughs> 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 uh, just imagine fighting and then suddenly okay power up mode. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. multi class into a oh, black wolf. hunter. <laughs> Yay, that'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, have you play, play, play Skyrim? Mm, yeah, I mean, okay. Definition of play, uh, yes, we all played Skyrim at one point in our life. Yeah, you can become a werewolf in Skyrim, no? Oh, uh, yeah, we also can be a vampire. It's even better. Sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. But, um,. <laughs> Uh, I, I, Inter- interesting twist eh? <laughs> yeah. but I, I am happy with Leona I am happy with Leona and I do like that um, yeah I think you thought it was going to be Lehala but no it's not <laughs> yeah, it was going to be Tifting Girl but no it's not hmm. yeah. but we'll see what happens next week because like man next week is going to be really interesting because uh, Camille's going to be if Camille's going to be back and Chen Chen's going to be back where are they going to be in this story? Well, 
and also and also the the, the noise you know? I, I i think some someone's in in the dorm mm, i think the noise could be the thunder crack hmm. yep it at could, the same time yeah it could be that in terms of timing yeah but but i guess my, my character didn't roll well so i was like yeah I pretend that he, he thinks that it's just like just something something fell off or something mm, like, yeah. yeah and you did see the broken mug piece so yeah and I'm just wondering, oh, Uncle's thinking, why is Norman doing the breaking mug into bags? Oh, why? That's strange. No, like, like, it's okay. Just surprise me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, because... Afik already knows this. <laughs> yep. So don't tell. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I will we'll roll with it. Mm-hmm. Same thing as that. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes because, yeah. You you will find surprises here and there because some, sometimes the things that you well months and months ago you did not connect the dots until suddenly at the last minute ooh <laughs> somebody somebody was bitten <laughs> by a werewolf yeah. oh that that one was that one was big that one was big god damn it <laughs> yeah but still oh, well. I'm gonna see how this goes this is this is going to be interesting <laughs> you, does uh warlock Subclass undead. There is, yeah. Do you for it uh, running in this campaign? The what subclass? Uh, undead. Uh, Necromancy. Subclass undead. It's a new subclass, I think. Really? Undead. There's a undead warlock. Yeah. Yep. Uh, by level three, you already get the subclass. But I forgot under which uh, book it came in. Which book is it from, by the way? I uh, uh VW something VG some. Volus guy. Uh, I think Volus. Eh, no, no, not not Volus. VG not Volus. should be Volus. Give me a second. Automate. Warlock. Undying. Sorry, yes. Is it Unearth Arcana? Is it Undying or Undead? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, undying two. is Unearth Arcana. The the undead one is under Chotomate. Uh, okay, uh, sorry. Undying is under Sword Coast Adventure. Uh-huh. And undead is under Van Rich, Richard's Guide uh, to Ravenloft. Oh, Ravenloft. Wait, how, how do you guys find, find all this? Um, Wiki. Oh. Yep. No, the undead is VRGR. VRGR, yeah. Okay. It's a new book. Really? I think so. I thought because... this... Sorry, give me a second. Oh, yeah, this is the latest book. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah. Well, not really latest, but it came out in May. But whatever. True lah. Because previously, under, it's under UA, but now it's under... Um... The new book. Right. Well, yeah, are, you, new... are we going to make a team of warlocks? <laughs> <laughs> And then everybody has nightmares. Oh God! Ah. <laughs> well, we see how the the warlock uh, punya mizu sama nanti. <laughs> yep. I haven't forgotten any of that. Yep. Oh no. Yeah, but but <laughs> like that that there like, uh, your deity hasn't talked to you at all all campaign. For me, it's a good thing because Mizu Summer is annoying, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> every, no, time, it is. every time she, she'll ask you to do a very weird task that's meaningless, but it, unfortunately, it caused catastrophic distress. <laughs> Who says it haven't even started? Like right mm-hmm. now, oh, let's go, let's pin down, let's go someplace else, like someplace else is safe and whatnot. Suddenly, she says, No, Kazuma, you need to stay here. And get me that stupid mug or something like that. Impossible. <laughs> it is possible. Uh, or it maybe possible. get me panties from the Duchess. <laughs> That's also possible. Like I said, I do go through your background, every one of you. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you'll see more and more. Well, as the story unfolds, as we write the story together 
Oh yeah, do we get XP today? Oh yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah. Uh, good role playing. Uh, <laughs> uh, good skimming. I think this is a uh, three skimmers today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep. The scheme, baby. Yep. I think each and every one of you deserve about 200 experience each. Yay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Shadow has managed to start investigation to set his curiosity about Lenebo himself. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carl managed to instill a mole sort of sorts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And of course, <laughs> the troublemaker is at the gates of the <laughs> the the ducal castle. Yep. <laughs> After managing to create a, create a certain flashpoint <sighs> in front of the temple itself, uh, and people like like. I bet you guys are wondering what the fuck am I gonna do? Oh no, he's going to be dead. Like he's here. Oh no, he's gonna die. We'll see. If you die, you can make a new character. Oh, you that's true. A warrior or a barbarian, you know? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm thinking about barbarian actually. Like barbarian is one of those things that seem simple, but no. <laughs> I <clears throat> I guess you guys are missing a tank. <laughs> yeah. True. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, can I can I play a bot barbarian? Uh, you need to have stats in. Oh, strength. strength for the barbarian, charisma, and oh wow, there's 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 a lot of things for multiclassing. Oh yeah, can I be a bot barbarian, GM? <laughs> yeah, now warlock. <laughs> I think a new character. You'll be a bot barbarian. <laughs> You'll be a drummer. You're a drummer holding a great sword. No? <laughs> I know we didn't like have that... this conversation before. Yeah, I said I said it, but he he just laughed at it until he found the miniature that supports it. <laughs> yeah, that's a great sort. That's a great sort musician from Warhammer Fantasy. <laughs> Still counts. Oh, <laughs> let me let me play a song of stealth. <laughs> <laughs> nice song of stealth. Song of stealth. Take it out. No, I no. cannot breathe that. No, it, you you know right? Like, <laughs> oh no! Someone is trying to be quiet. Shush, everybody. <laughs> let's let's hear what he's playing. <laughs> oh no! He's trying to scare that person. <laughs> Okay, guys. I gotta uh, go. Yeah. Alright, All right. Right. Take, right. take care. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed tonight's session. Yep, yep. Yeah. It was great. It was great. Yeah, it it sort of uh, brings out the the flavor more and more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, you now see a new order in town, <gasps> and you maybe you start wondering who the heck are these people. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, like. Uh, right, right now we need to sow the seed of deceit into the red cloaks so that they will beat up the white cloaks. Uh, but damn. 